If you face error like this, where it says, alt server could not be found, then watch this video, for a permanent fix to this error. Let me launch alt store, and show you the error, which we all are facing. As you can see, it's saying, alt server could not be found. This error occurs when side loading, or refreshing apps mostly. To troubleshoot, just go to settings, and make sure you are logged in to the Apple ID, the same ID, which you use to sign the apps. Also make sure, background refresh is enabled. Also to keep in mind that, both your computer, and iOS device, must be on the same Wi-Fi network. As you can see, I am connected to this Wi-Fi, which is Tech Junkie Amon, 4G. Now let's move to my computer. Make sure your computer is also connected to the same Wi-Fi. If it isn't, then do make sure to change it, otherwise, it will not work. As you can see, I am switching the Wi-Fi network, and now both my computer and my iPad are connected to the same Wi-Fi. Now search for Alt Server. I have already prepared a detailed video on Alt Store setup. Click on this upper right icon here, and just click on Open. Just navigate to the taskbar and click on this icon. This diamond-shaped icon is of Alt Store indicating that it's running and active in background. Now let's go back to my iPad Pro. Just remove Alt Store from the app switcher. Then relaunch Alt Store, and now let's try to refresh the apps and see if it's working. So let's click on Refresh All button. As you can see, the refreshing of apps are working without any error. And you can even sideload IPA without any error. But as it's not working, then get back on your computer, launch iTunes. Now connect your iOS device to the computer, using a cable. An icon like this will appear on the iTunes. Click on that icon, and on the next page, make sure Wi-Fi Sync is enabled. This will fix the issue. So make sure the box is checked for Wi-Fi Sync. If you are interested in running games Cube or Wii games, or Nintendo games, watch the next videos.